Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On Monday morning, because, you know, because, you know, Japan doesn't bow down to American boxing scene anymore. You know, so, you know, obviously, if you're on the East Coast, it's four o'clock. If you're on in pilot's time, it's, was it one? One a.m. in the morning? You know, go, Top Rank will have the jet, have the card with the main event of Nyoya, Monster Anyway, and Luis Neri for the undisputed Super Bantamweight titles. You know, and obviously, first, first of all, I mean, this fight is... No, no, you can tell, like, you, first of all, you have to be pretty much of a villain in order to get banned from fighting in Japan like Luis Neri was. You know, for those who are not familiar, uh, Neri beat the shit out of Shinsuke Yama, uh, was it Yamanaka, you know, longtime bantamweight champion, and got and popped dirty for PEDs. And like then, a you know, icon, that, bro. Yeah, he is, you know. Like and then... Great movie. Yep, and then Luis, and then the second fight, Luis Neri blew weight and beat the shit out of him even worse in a short amount of time. And you know, Japan was like, "Fuck this, get him like I'm out of here!" Like you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they those knockdowns were like horrible. Like he was really like whooping on dude. I, I remember that fight. Like yeah, yeah, you know, Neri. I mean, I mean, you know, that that is the infamy right there. And then you know, obviously, it was, I don't think it was really a big loss for him for not fighting Japan though. Until obviously now with the rise of Monster in a way, it's like I think now they you know they lifted the ban because most like I think everyone wants to I think I think a lot of the Japanese audience probably wants wants to see Monster get his revenge on Neri. And Neri for his part has been talking a lot of shit. <laughs> like he's like he's the, I mean he's playing the role of the heel like pretty well. It's like you know it's I mean like, he know what he's getting paid for. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, like, better embrace it. I mean, dude, like, if you're banned from a country, there's nothing you can say to make yourself appear cool. Like, you just so you may as well be the villain at this point, right? And you know, and, and you know, he's taking serious. I mean, he's actually making his way. He's made the seven date weight check, all that shit. Like, dude looks. I mean, dude might look like he might be even be starving a little bit, but. You know he, but he's clearly up for the fight. I can tell. Yeah, he's starving a little bit. That that guy, that means you aimed me a little bit. You got that little violence in you. Like this actually might be a decent fight, but you know how long it lasts. I mean, like I said though, like I mean, I'm actually taking the day off on Monday because I want to actually sit, watch this in the morning and then not have to go check into work and just go do something else afterwards. But it, uh, I mean, part of me wishes, like I mean. That Neri is like okay, he finds something and he pushes Monster to like the brink and then Monster just brutally KOs him somewhere in the late rounds. But I don't think I mean that probably won't happen. I mean because I, so, I mean I wanted to God you know you know more than anything though. But yeah, I think Monster's wrong probably, fighter. Yeah, wrong fighter, right? You know what I'm saying so. Um, yeah, in terms of Monster start going to that body, like he that Figueroa fight shows all that he can't take them shits. Yeah, and it, it took figure what seven rounds to get rid of him too. So it's like this is a fight I've been wanting for a long. I mean, a while. I, you know, ever since you know, there. I mean, it was was supposed to go to one twenty six. For some reason, I just feel like this fight was, is going to be action packed at least for as long as it lasts. Uh, I mean, it better. Like I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not expecting to see a jab and parry fest. Like I, I, mean, I want somebody. Yeah, I mean, I you gotta fight like you're banned from a country, so it's got to be violent. I mean, yeah. I mean, Neri. Uh, Neri got got bodied by a. Uh, a pretty boy Figueroa, but he's a good fighter to me. He always brings it, so. Yeah, no. Uh, Luki, man, do you have any thoughts about this fight? Me, in a way, he's going to beat him up. I'm going to wake up and watch it. Like, in a way, Usyk, Crawford, those are my guys. They actually fight real people, so I watch them. There you go. But, yeah, you, but then, of course, you're, gonna, you're on the West Coast, so you're going to have to wake up at, what, 1, 2 in the morning? No, I'm going to wake up at like 4 in the morning and really start my work day way too early. Damn. Shit starts about 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the West. I just I just called the day off, the, the day following off because I ain't, I can't do the fucking stay up and then... Damn, all y'all, will, will y'all take a days off for of boxing? Jeez. I, I yeah, can't. Nigga. I swear, if I called in my work, they would still call me in. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, they would like, announce your day off, but like, stuff's not working, bro. I mean, I have that type of job too, but I already, t- I already told my manager. I'm like, I mean, I don't take my vacation days enough, so 
So it, if I take a random money off, they're not gonna like say anything, you know. But if I take more random monies off, then they'll be like, okay, like you know, we need you to do this, lead this meeting and stuff. Well, like that Monday, it's, it's 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 Monday morning, right? It's not Sunday morning. It's, it's yeah, it's Monday, Monday morning. Monday I mean, the, morning. the card starts at four, but you know, the main event probably starts at like. So come on, come on, real quick. Is it gonna be? Is it the day gonna be Tuesday or the day gonna be Monday? I'm confused. Is that called Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday. It's gonna be Monday, bro. Monday. You just said Monday. Monday. Scroll up. <laughs> Monday morning. Scroll back up diagonal. I don't know. Like, yeah. Okay. yeah I, I give mean, it the I hot tub think... time machine. Something. I'm gonna be fucked. Whatever. <laughs> so, in terms of predictions, so what, what? How long do we think this fight's gonna last? And does anyone actually have Neri winning this fight? Hell, fucking no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my prediction is Monster gets him out of there probably by five. LB, what about you? Damn. I started with five. I honestly feel like the fight ain't gonna go that long. Three <laughs> rounds. Oh, shit. P, what about you? I actually think it'll go a little bit longer. I think it'll go seven rounds. Wait, I want to I wanna address something. Is, is that really Bill in your chat? No, it's not. <laughs> no, no. It's a troll. Okay. They always do this because yeah, I remember Derek James was in there, then Spence, then who else? Bo Mac. Like, they always do that shit. Yeah, so, like, like, so there's like some guy sitting at their house, and they're like, oh, Ring Gang's on. Better make a fake account. That's pretty yes. basic. You guys should make a fake Lukey account one of these weeks and like <laughs> ask to come on. That'll be a cool one for me. Um, I'm probably going to jump on a little bit. I got to do something, but I just, I'm, like, I'm a big listener, so I like you guys. Oh no! I mean, yeah, the Lukey, you know, yeah, Lukey is like one of the day ones. Like, I mean, like I said before, yeah. like I used to, I used to do shows with Lukey too, like way back. You know, what I'm saying like, I've met Lukey in person, and everything like that. Lukey's, uh, Luke, and then uh, no, Lukey, you know, he's writing for boxing scene, hopefully to improve in the writing on boxing scene because boxing scene kind of, you know, it's not, it needs to go back up again. Quality needs to go back up, and Lukey's been doing his thing on there. So, you know, shout out to Lukey on that though. But um. Absolutely. But yeah, you know, like I, honestly, like a, a part of me wishes, I mean, hopes that it's a fight of the year type of brawl where Monster gets a little tested, like you know, like he did in the Dome. damn, bro. Like I, I don't, you be having some wishful thinking. Like Monster, Monster gave you an entertaining fight last time. I, I know this. I know this, bro. Like, I know this. Like, uh, is it? Uh, but I mean, I want to wish for a Donair fight, nigga. That shit was. Uh, that's that's the best. You better get Donair quality, nigga. Mary ain't seeing no fucking Donair, like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the only thing that I mean the only thing Neri has that's an equalizer is because Neri has power too, though. But yeah, it's one of those things. It's like, I, I mean, part of me wants to see Monster at least test it a little bit before Monster bodies him. So it's like it's wishful. Wait, so what, what, what rounds y'all got? Because I didn't pick my rounds. What rounds y'all had? Five, three, seven. seven. I'll say six. Um, I think it'll be you know a two two ish. You know what I'm saying? A couple feel outs. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, Tapalos was was competitive enough. Yeah. Um, the Paulus was mad competitive, but this the thing is, I think he's an overall better boxer, just more skilled than Neri. Like, oh, yeah, I guess maybe, maybe, yeah, I mean, Neri, look, see, because y'all niggas fall in love with like one thing a motherfucker do good. Neri just has power. Mm-hmm. We've seen this nigga get outboxed before. Shit. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, seen yeah, him yeah. get outfought before. Yeah, like, to, to Paulus, he had defense, he was rolling shots. Mm-hmm. His variety and punches. He was throwing hooks, uppercuts. He had straight left that he that found at home. Yeah, and and, and monster, he was moving. When monsters mad, monster. You know, he he's a, he turns to a, a, a fucking monster. You know, he, he he fights mad. You know, you saw how happy he did yeah. to Emmanuel Rodriguez. So it might be one of the situations where a monster is just gonna get him fuck out of there. And just you you you, you disappointed my country. You, you just you know fuck you. <laughs> might just lure him in there. Make, make him see if he could get a few shots off. Make him think like, okay, my, yo, your offense is going to be a factor, and then just bow. Be, you know, like 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 you know, Shutter said, you know, we can do everything in the ring, any and everything. Yeah, no. It must have so. definitely be. Like, you have disgraced us. You have dishonored my <laughs> class. <laughs> that shit gonna be like a show, the, the Shogun finale. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a nary head. Just, oh, Cliff. Bro, because I, I tell people this all the time, like. The monster Noya in a way is the closest thing you'll get to a perfect fighter, perfect boxer right now. 
Mm. Like when I say perfect, somebody who could do everything you need them to do in boxing, and it's at a very, very high level. Like if he's in a video game, all the monster stats are in the nineties. Word. And, and you're talking, I'm not talking about low 90s. I'm not talking about you giving this nigga like 91, 90. He's getting like 93 minimums. Word. Power might be 99. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sit there and tell me like, yeah, you know what? We're going to give Interway's footwork a 85. No, no, stop. You're not going to do that. So I'm just <laughs> saying like, so if you're somebody who watches boxing, or you're somebody young that's getting into the sport, Watch in a way he does everything sound, everything on point, and he got knockout explosive power, quick hands. Like, yeah, like he, he's gonna make Neri look real shitty in this fight. Like, so let's enjoy it while it lasts. And, and of course, now I have FanDuel because I was let's read off some odds. So, right now, current money line is uh, Monster is a minus 1300 favorite, uh, Neri is a plus 820 underdog. For method of victory, uh, monster points of decision plus seven hundred. Uh, monster KO minus five fifty. A draw plus twenty six hundred. Neri points decision plus eighteen hundred. Neri KO plus eleven hundred. And uh, let's see. And uh, let's see. And there's some. There's some pretty good group round bettings. There's like four. There's like four. Uh, lines of group round betting. Let's see which one's the most attractive one. I mean, monster to win by knockout in one or two is plus a thousand. So that's uh, that's that's, that's something to look at because <laughs> that can what about three or happen. four. Yeah, that could absolutely happen. But uh, yeah, no, this yeah, like yeah, uh, three I'm, and four, nigga. Huh? Three and four. <laughs> so that's oh, three and four. Oh, my bad, bro. Hold up. So three, so monster three and four, monster is plus four forty. Oh yeah, so it went down. It, it probably gonna pick back up again when you get to like the ninth round. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> like I got this envisioned. You probably look at it like, uh huh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I say though, so definitely a one two is definitely a value for monster if you want, if you want to pick that because, like I said, monster can get him out of there in the in in. One or two, it's definitely worth a, it's definitely worth a bet on there. The only thing that will change shit is if Nibby comes out attacking. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that might slow this whole process down. If Nibby comes out attacking, and it kind of puts Monster on the back foot a little bit, kind of makes him want to pick off I think shots a little bit. Um, sleeping on Neri, uh, maybe I'm a little higher on Neri. I think he's. You know, overall, pretty good boxer and got power. I think he'll bring it. It's a good win for Monster. He, he needs to bring it. That's what I'm saying. Like, he needs to have the right strategy. That's what I'm saying. Like, he needs to go out and start attacking Monster. He doesn't need to go in there and try to outbox dude or anything. Because then what happens is you, you're going to fall into that Fulton game plan where you go in there thinking shit's going to be one way. And goes the other. And yeah, and you let him do something first. And then now you're like spooked. You're like, oh shit, fuck that. This nigga, his hands real quick. He, whereas the, a guy like Tapolis, he damn, he went in there and he just was like, okay, I'm gonna just do my game plan. We all know this nigga is fast. We all know he hit hard. I'm gonna do me. Like everybody else, let Monster do him. They, right. It's like yeah. what Rome said. Um, I mean, this guy near is a two time champion. Like he fighting the school bully. <laughs> 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 to me, this would be one of Inouye's. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, me personally, I think this would be a top five win for for Inouye. Two times ch- a two weight champion, you know. I mean, uh, probably yeah. will. I mean, like, I mean, that. I mean, because uh, like I said, is I mean, I mean, if only Neri had not been KO'd before, like you know, like I said, but now, yeah, <laughs> that. You know, but like I said, I but it has it has a significance to Japanese boxing due to what Neri did. So that's why I mean, you, th- trust me. I mean, you might you, you might get the rare occasion where you might see the Japanese audience not be clapping politely. They'll probably be cheering the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they'll be probably going as excited as when when Neri was scoring all them knockdowns. And he was like, ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, like, get this Epo shit the fuck out of here. Yeah, no. But yeah, I'm kind of looking low, low key, low key to that. I mean, I always look toward a monster fighting 
when I look at it, like all my favorite boxers are either retired or fight super sparingly. So in a way, it's like literally my you only. Actually fight regularly, like <laughs> yes, like he the only. Like, Cause you remember the list I had? Like I had mm-hmm. Golovkin, Adonis Stevenson, mm-hmm. Keith Thurman, and all their careers is like done. Like Monster been holding it down the whole time. So. Glad he getting his his props and shit, but mm-hmm. it's like it's like damn being a Tyson fan. You wait and you wait, and that shit is over in a couple rounds. Right. And the fun thing is too. I mean, with this, I mean, also with this card too. I mean, another thing I've noticed too. Top ranks Japan cards, they have all the best matchmaking. But when it comes to the American cards, it's either the main events good, co mains blah, and the undercards just the prospects. Or the co-main is good, the main event's blah, and the undercard's just the prospects. Like, but the Japan card though is balanced. I mean, in case it's all title fights, you know, you got Jason Maloney. I think the Jap- Japanese dudes hold them to a higher standard. Hell yeah, because in the co-main you got Jason Maloney defending his belt against a kickboxer. I, I put a video in the chat of him, and I asked two members. I, I know I asked um, Android too. One, you know. About the about the kickboxer because he's Maloney gonna get his ass whooped, bro. Huh? I said Maloney gonna get his ass whooped, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Because they're, I mean, they both say Andrew was like Andrew David Minchwas was like, yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's like, once he starts touching Maloney with shots, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be a wrap. So like, you know, it's like, you know, and Maloney, I like Maloney, but Maloney's good for the sport, respectable, you know, hard worker, but like, like talent levels exist for a reason. Mm-hmm. And you know, and Jason Maloney's durability, it's I mean, he's already been killed by monsters, so like you know he can be taken up out of there. And and the kickboxer is actually in in a way stable. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna be trying to outdo dude. He's like y'all beat him worse than Inaway did. Like Yeah, I mean that fight's either I mean, I know I've heard a couple things. Either Maloney will probably get outbox him, but he'll probably get touched and get stopped late, or he's gonna get touched early and he's gonna get taken out. Like and those are the, those are the two takes that I've, I've been reading and hearing for that one. But I would say don't sleep on that fight. And then of course you got Monster's brother Takuma defending his belt on there too. And you know, and you have a flyweight title in the opener. So like I said, there is something for someone because you know one thing about a Japanese card, they there's no such thing as a. It's very rare that you see a boring fight. Like you know, like motherfuckers throw hands. Like shit, the Monster card. Like it's, when he fought to Palace, the co-main. Motherfucker ended up dying in the co-main event. It was one of the bloodiest fights I've seen in a minute. Like, that shit was hard. You know, like, you know, so yeah, I would, like, don't, don't sleep on that, though, but... So yeah. it's the bloodiest fight until we see the next bloodiest fight. It's like me with horror movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, well, someone yeah, died. I, I because... remember we, we spoke about Fondora Zoo, and I was like, yeah, yeah. like... Yeah, but it saw... was just like, they were, you know... The, like this shit was crazy because dude pretty much like went down at the bell and he could barely like walk like he was like and then he ended up dying so it's like yeah he was it was it was a hard fight it was a hard fight to watch at 5 30 in the morning too i was like god damn like what the fuck am i watching like nah but a good boxing match early in the morning it just hit different it make your day just start differently like you feel like you can just like, I don't know, like, you can just beat up everything after that shit. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, because, you know, me and you we've talked about Monster Donair 1. Like, after that shit, I had to go to work. And I was just like, why the fuck am I going to work? I wanted to go to the gym and put in some work. Like, like I didn't I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to go to my, I didn't want to go to my office. I wanted to go, do, I wanted to go put in some work. <laughs> that shit know? just, it's one of those fights, man. Like, if somebody's a new boxing fan, mm-hmm. that's one of the fights you show them. Just like, in that, in you know, ten years ago, that one fight, you know, Trinidad Vargas was that one fight you would show a new boxing fan. Yeah, like Denair Monster is that one for this for this era now. Like, yeah. Oh, you want to see boxing? Oh, yeah. Watch this. Yeah. And then also the before, class uh, versus the monster. Like, come on, <laughs> can't go uh, wrong. Yeah, absolutely. So I know Blazing Killer salute. You know, salute to you and uh, Anthony Montano. I see that you're back. Uh, can you guys explain to me why people are already saying Ryan can't make 140 pounds when he just got into that division and saying that he might move up to 147, 154? And for you guys, who do you want the next fight for Ryan to be? 
Tito or Super Real? I'm saying Matias because they can build that fight as the next Golden Boy versus Tito. Um, I mean, he probably Ryan can make 140 pounds, but it depends if he wants to make 140 pounds. Like, yeah, I don't think he can make 140. No, bro, he can't. Bro can't no, he can't. What are you talking about? No, he can't. Like, let's he stop. Can't make one. He needs a fight at 147 or just have a a, a catch weight of 144 and call it a day. Like, I prefer 147 because it's a real division, but it's cool if, if you get good opponents to come to your bullshit division and no one complains, then hey, take those fights. Um, Dude hasn't made 140 solid since the Fortuna <laughs> fight. Come on. Yeah, that was like, what, two years ago? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> like what bro, like bro is not. Re- remember when you saw? It was, I forgot what fight it was when Ryan Garcia was like one thirty eight, and even was then he was fight. like, Yo. He, yeah, he was under one forty for the tank fight. He was like, but that motherfucker looked well, big. Well, no, well, there was a fight but, before the I'm tank not... fight. Huh? The Fortuna fight. The Fortuna fight. Oh, okay, was tank. that's what it was. Okay. The Fortuna fight. That motherfucker was big, yo. So that right there told me I was like. Yo, this nigga about the size of Mario Barrios, bro. Like, you could be at 147. Get the fuck out of here. Like, mm-hmm. and now after he done seen this success, you, ain't no way you're going to get Ryan at no 140, bro. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much now, Tio and Sabrell are not going to, they're not going to, I mean, uh, so, Matias is not going to fight at 147. He didn't want to. I mean, that's the whole reason why he even left, he left PBC because, you know, they were trying to offer 147 fights and he didn't want them. You know, and Tio is what? Why he probably would? I doubt that fight will actually get made. I hit Tio. I, I just don't see that fight. I, uh, something's gonna fuck it up. I mean, shit. Top rank won't even let him fight on the on the fucking turkey card. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, they 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 shoot him and they shoot his career in the front all the time. Like, I don't I don't see that. Fight yeah, back. he does a good job of that himself, though. <laughs> he does. <laughs> it's like they both they both be shooting. It's like City of God. He's like the hand or the foot. Which one? Like, <laughs> T.O. be like, "Fuck it, I'ma shoot the hand." Top rank be like, "Fuck it, I'ma shoot the foot." Bow, like, yeah, yeah, T.O. Yeah, T- like, I don't like T.O. Doesn't have that much control over his career. Like, top rank probably is like they probably keep like a a real tight grip on his career. Like, you know what he's what he does now because you know they probably still fight the smart from that Cambosis loss. <laughs> 